but the purpose of it really is to uh, look for trends because you're not going to be able to address every single item because some people are going to say exactly the opposite of what someone else says. Hey, what's up? Happy New Year to you. This is Leonard with the Indie Band Coach, and I wanted to start the new year off right and just give you a quick tip for all my band leaders out there. Um, if you are working with musicians and you're trying to get everybody on the same page, um, the beginning of the year is a perfect time to, um, you know, have a dreaded band meeting, or I shouldn't say dreaded band meeting. Most musicians dread meetings because, you know, there's no music. But um, it's a perfect time to actually sit down and just see if everybody's on the same page. And um, as opposed to just sitting down and talking and, you know, having the airing of the grievances, one of the things that you can do um, is before you have that meeting is to actually send them a quick uh, email and have them respond to you individually. Um, don't respond as a group because what will happen is somebody will respond, the next few people will read that email and be like, oh yeah, I see the same thing that that person does. So don't do that. Have people respond individually. Um, but one of the tools that I would use in our band, um, I actually got from using in our, uh, back in my corporate America days, um, was actually a start, stop, continue um, uh, assessment, really. And basically, it's just what it sounds like. Um, I want you to list uh, three to five things that you want to see us start doing um, that we're not currently doing. Um, list three to five things that you want to stop doing that we are doing, if there are that many. Um, and then three to five things that you want to continue um, that you think we're doing right or we could do better. And just let people riff and uh, see what they say. Now, the goal of this isn't to go through some really specific list and address every single item um, that every single person has. The, the purpose of it really is to uh, look for trends because you're not going to be able to address every single item because some people are going to say exactly the opposite of what someone else says. So you might even preface that up front. Hey, here's what I'm looking for. So if certain people say certain things, blah, blah, blah. Um, but what you can do is um, when you get that email, you can actually take some time, sift through it, and just circle ones that are coming up with you know, more than half or a good number of the musicians in your band. Now, I was a uh, band leader, and we had eight people in our band, nine if you include um, our production. And, you know, if I saw four or five people, heck, even three, that said the same exact thing, I'm like, okay, this might be something I need to address. And surely, you know, when we got to the band meeting, um, it was a good outline of stuff for me to talk about, and it was a good outline of things uh, for me to address, as opposed to just having some blanket meeting that didn't have any results and didn't have any goals um, because I had a vision for the band. I knew what I wanted it to be. Um, I was a booking agent um, in the band as addition to the manager and the lead singer along with my beautiful wife. But um, with that in mind, you know, I wanted to take a step back and just focus on the band because um, in the service business that we're in, um, I firmly believe that we are uh, that the customer is number two. Um, comment below if you believe that too. But the customer is number two. Um, your your coworkers, your bandmates, your your members, they're number one uh, because there's no way that you can meet the client's expectations. There's no way that we can do 120, 125 shows a year as an eight-piece band um, with all of our family and job situations unless we're on the same page. And so this is just one of the tools that we use to help do that. Um, I would do it once a year, but then probably once, um, I'd say probably twice a year, then we get together and have um, a meal and we just get together and break bread and just talk about what's going on. Um, we didn't do a lot of that because we had a lot of gigs and people had families and stuff, but this is a way to help structure your meetings as a band leader if you want to get some info and find out what's going on, okay? So I hope that helps. Um, I'll be on with more tips, but this is Leonard with Indie Band Coach. Um, work smarter and gig harder.